Oh my goodness, well as you can see, I'm nowhere near the finish zone because we had a bit of a family emergency during my hiatus, which has taken up a few days. So that's cool, but uh, whatever. I'm gonna have to be a, a finishing working hiatus. Yeah, kitchen just, I mean, uh, uh, uh. I'll start throwing together some clips with all the shit I got. And, uh, but so yeah, so this is, I got no other choice, right? I mean, it's Saturday for me. So, uh, if I want videos up by Monday, then I better jump back into it. So, uh, that being the case, I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to buckle down and get to it. And this is my little introductory thing for all the skip clips I'll be throwing together or the backlog shit I already got. And then, uh, how you doing? And uh, before you know it, we'll be back on a regular schedule. Oh, maybe I'll have some pre-uploads, and that way some crap like this goes down again. I won't be so hard-pressed to just have to quit. But I uh, appreciate your patience. Appreciate y'all waiting a couple weeks for me. And, man, it was a much-needed break, too. Like, I did have a lot of shit to do, and I didn't get most of it done. But it was nice to be away from YouTube for a couple of weeks after a solid year, seven days straight, with, uh, with no reward except for the love of my audience and then the pers self personal self-satisfaction of accomplishing things stuff and i apologize too hot so we'll get to pulling this and doing some editing and we'll see you on monday i mean now for you but <laughs> my squad stays on point like that 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 is the joy yeah my squad stay on point like that 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 is the joy new york i'm in your area dc i'm in your area new jersey i'm in your area Look at the old Silverados boys. My daddy's got one just like it. Oh my goodness. Well, it says Custom Deluxe 10. I'm not sure if dad says Custom Deluxe 10 or Silverados, but. Almost the same fucking truck. Still sitting there. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to get it. It's probably all rusted out and dicked now anyway. It's what I was gonna get when I got this Suburban. That's the truck I was gonna go get, and my dad wouldn't let me have it. He said it was too beat up and not reliable enough, so he gave me this instead. Oh my goodness, can we even see all the good stuff? We got some paint, we do, for our eaves. Oh yeah! Paint brushes, it's damn, it was interior, exterior, how weird is that? Interior and exterior paint, like it's either or, so that's cool. So I can use that to start on my, start on my kitchen corner here. I used to have a cool little thing to put on my glasses and I don't anymore. Let me set them out here, set them out there. As you can see, I just got everything <clears throat> just a mess out here and hadn't cleaned it up since last time, so bad. Look at the state of my cock gun. Oh my goodness. No goo. State of the caulk gun, the state of the caulk. Oh, more freaking safety glasses. So many types of the safety glasses. So I had one of the big, one of the big thick three hour, three point or three amp hour or whatever. And uh, the one I have now is 1.5. That's the thin one, right? So those are the two I have, the one I own and the one I borrowed from my father-in-law. But they got the big Father's Day sale on, uh, I guess it's what's Father's Day, on sale at Home Depot. And they had to buy, buy the two, uh, buy the two three amp hour batteries, two for $99 with a charger, and then get a tool free. And they had a whole bunch of stuff. They had a jigsaw like this, which is, and they had a, you know, impact driver and a hammer drill and a, you know, skill saw, all sorts of little, uh, little radio, vacuum, wet dry vac. I actually wanted a little wet dry vac, but, uh, that was gone because I'm late and all the batteries were gone. So I had to buy, you know, I need a jigsaw though. And I needed batteries, right? So this one comes with two batteries, but it just comes with the, the, the cheap ones and then it's an extra hammer drill. So, so I need the batteries. And I figured I can need the batteries. I need that kind. But I figured I'd just sell, i just sell the hammer drill and the charger. I don't even need to sell the charger, probably I'll keep that. But I'll sell the hammer drill and the bag on one of my little apps, right? For like 30 bucks or something. And then they can go buy their set of batteries and have batteries. 
that's what I'll do with that. So that'll be cool. And now, and then, in the meantime, now I got two batteries, so I can run my weed eater. Because I was really hesitant to run my my little uh, my little Ryobi weed eater, because uh, cause like I said, I only had one battery, and the other two just died randomly and were also brand new. And I'm like, well, shit. If this uh, if this shit dies, you know, if it's my weed eater that's killing them or something, then I'm not gonna have any batteries. So I better wait till I have more batteries before I run the weed eater. So now I do, so now I can. And I have a skill saw, but it's a plug-in one. And this is actually seems pretty fucking heavy duty. This actually seems way more heavy duty than a plug-in one. So scores for that. But I can't believe it didn't come with a blade. You're kidding me. Really? Really? Didn't even come with a blade, you fucker? Okay, well. I guess I gotta get a blade for that. Oh, I could have a giveaway, huh? Instead of selling it. Ooh, 100 subscriber giveaway. That might be an idea. For when it cools off this evening, we can actually go to work. Not now. I'm plugging immediately. I had to get on the web. Like, oh no, that happens. I'm like, okay, I'll just, uh, I'll stay far away from them. Ah! You scared me. Red bone, 79 degrees, 61 percent humidity, feels like 79. I call bullshit. It feels like 90 fucking nine. So there. Okay. And then I was like, maybe I should make a movie about how the gear feels to be treated the way that it does. And then I was like, maybe it's larger than that, and maybe they behave a certain way because. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. I, uh, I just, I got this package in the mail, but I was, I was watching some nice stat. I keep on hearing noises. That's weird. Oh. Pliers. Oh, no. There's no knife in my pocket. That's not good. Okay, well, I got a, I got another one from other desk. But anyway, we got this here package, so let's open her up, shall we? My goodness. Oh, my goodness for myself. I mean, I kind of know what it is, so... I kind of know what it is, probably, so it's not, a uh, probably not that exciting. Probably. Yeah, it's a, it's a phone. <sighs> yeah, it's a phone. Now, normally I'd be, uh, oh, thank you for, thank you for letting me choose AT&T. Appreciatory valve, wide open. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so normally I'd be pretty excited to have a phone, right? To have a brand new phone, to have a brand new LG phone, that a brand new LG phone, right? But not so much. Not the so reason much. we have this brand new phone, identical to the one my wife already has, is because she never got a case for it. Even though I insisted that she get one. It's fine, I'm not as clumsy as you, don't worry about it, I'll get one later. Baby, you won't get one later, you'll fucking forget, and I won't think about it because it's not my phone, and before you know it, something will happen, and you'll drop it, and it'll fucking break. It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm not as clumsy as you. I'm not gonna drop it. I'm very careful with my things. Does that look like somebody who is careful with their things? Huh? Those aren't seagulls. Those are cracks. And a bunch of scotch tape. So, <clears throat> new phone and OtterBox on the way for the new phone. And she can't use the new phone until the auto box gets here. We'll make that a mistake again. So, what could have been a $30 fix uh, turned into, well, I guess it's the price of this phone, plus the price of this phone, plus the activation fees for both of them, which is garbage in and of itself. So we got 130, 130, that's 260, plus 30 and 30 is another 60, so 260 and 60, 60, 60, 120, plus 2, that's 320, uh, plus the outer box, well, 320, plus the 38 now, or plus the 30 now for the outer box, so 350, but I could have just spent 30 and 130 and been done with it, so three, so 160 from something. Now I done got lost. Son of a... Apologize. I think it's a weird one where the whole fucking back comes off. Yo. Weird how they do it now, right? Fanty pant. 
Oh, about to drop her. Well, I am a clumsy one. She is right about that. I am a clumsy one indeed. Just, uh, she's capable of... It, she, it wasn't even her fault. I guess that's the kicker of it, right? She was, uh, she's sitting there. She had just shown a co-worker a picture of our youngest, who's off at his MOS training for Red Tech, and uh, showing him a picture of him. And just finished putting her phone away, and here comes her other coworker, Sally, throwing her hands up, talking about how you doing, and just BAM! Knocked the phone right out of Renee's hand. Just went flying like a fucker, it did. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Slam! Face down first on the ground. Crack a do, crack a dee. How you doing? Apologize. I'm like, well, did you collect like 150 bucks from her or what? No, I was just like, she was like, I'm so sorry, Renee. And my wife was like, well, that's okay. And I'm like, those were all the wrong fucking conversations. Like, she should have been, I'm so sorry, Renee. How much do I owe you for just destroying your phone? Gosh, I hope that's not one of them $800 fuckers. No, I don't think it's that expensive. I'll have to ask my man. It turns out it's only 130 bucks, so 60 bucks would have caught you, right? I think you owe her 60 bucks, Sally. But the fuck? Or does she? I don't know. If you're gonna go fling and flung and flinging your arms around right in people's personal bubble, yeah. Seems like you fucking pay a $60 fucking mannerism fee. And then you fucking mannerism or manner fee, and then you learn maybe you don't fucking flim flam in motherfuckers' bubbles. Apologize. Apologize.